Well, there's no doubt that Mike Mbuvi Sonko is a fighter. He beat the odds when he rose to the office of Nairobi governor, but he suffered a staggering blow on the floor of the Senate last night when he was impeached. Was that a knockout blow or will he come back swinging? Well, Olive Barrows tracks his rise and fall. Governor Mike Mbuvi Songo of Nairobi City County stands impeached. End of an era or is it end of an era? Mike Mbuvi Songo fell from grace the same way he rose to the office of Nairobi governor. <laughs> With a bang. Sonko's impeachment as governor of the nation's capital was as colorful as the man himself. But then Mike Sonko has never been a man to take half measures. Instead, as his actions bear testament, he prefers to live life out loud. And some would argue that his impeachment was long overdue. Sonko himself confessed that he's an incompetent leader and he needed a technocrat in the name of Polycap Igade. But what you saw is what you got. And it could be argued that Nairobi residents got exactly what they signed up for. Party after party after party after party. A leader quite happy to roll around in the muck with the pigs and drag you down with him. And he did drag quite a few names through the mud. No conversations are sacred where Sonko is concerned. Thank you, sir. Governance and politics. This, there could be a very thin line, but that thin line is very significant. Sonko's indiscretions saw him part ways with his deputy in less than a year. His county executive committee members complained of being subjected to indignities at his hands. Other elected officials quite literally walked away from him. But for all the nakedness he exposed, he himself, it turned out, was not without sin. His cut and mouse games with the authorities on corruption charges came to naught, and the long arm of the law eventually caught up with him. It was then that he was forced to hand over county functions to the national government, but even that was not without drama. In his own records, Hawa Watua State House, while in a confused Napombe Kwanza. By the time I was meeting the president for the signing, I was just zigzag. He even put the president of the Republic of Kenya on blast. A burnt bridge too far. And so when it came down to the wire, he found himself a man with very few friends. Governor Mike Sonko operates a, res a Sonko rescue team. He, we must use this house now to rescue the people of Nairobi from Governor Sonko. He may be down, but what remains to be seen is if he'll come back swinging. Olive Barrows, NTV.